The collection of law enforcement use of force statistics has been required as a responsibility of the Attorney General since the passage of the Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act of 1994. The data is collected annually and used specifically for statistics and research. The Gainesville Police Department has an internal affairs division that studies their officers to make sure they're acting accordingly. Last year, 70 different incidents of force were investigated in Gainesville. GPD is continuously working on making sure they have a good relationship with the community, specifically those who are a minority. In 2012, we asked uh, Washington for help. Uh, we went and said, we, we, we've got a problem in our community. We know that young black males are contacted more than any other demographic in our community, yet they make up about 30% of our community. So we sought some grant funding and were awarded some grant funding to study the issue, figure out, you know, why are we contacting these young black males? Is it the way we're contacting them? Is it the way that, uh, you know, we're treating them? And so over the past almost five years now, we've been able to figure out some of what uh, what makes this problem tick and make sure that our officers understand you know how to uh, how to approach everyone associate professor of criminology at the university of florida frederick schenkman says officers should be experts in many areas including race relation he says officers are only required five months at a community college to prepare for this profession which is not enough chanel fountain says she fears for her daughter and her interaction with police I feel like it's more on the, the African-American people that gets targeted more. Tobias says to those who may think they are targeted based on their race, when it comes to traffic violation stops, officers do not know who is driving the vehicle. So race is not a factor. He says officers are looking for violations first and not who they are going to stop. GPD officer Hutchinson says sometimes having officers interact with their same race may sometimes make an encounter easier. African American community, you know, I think some of them prefer black officers. You know, I can't say that, um, but you know, like I say, from my experience, you know, from interacting with the community, I don't know. I think there's a balance because of the way that I, I interact with people. Christopher Colossus says as a Hispanic male, he has seen officers use excessive force towards him and his friends. And for that reason, he moved his family from Miami to Gainesville, where he feels it is less likely for his children to have an encounter like this. He says not all officers are bad and has taught his children to respect them. GPD has several outreach programs to better their relationships with the community. Although in the past five years, the use of excessive force by law enforcement has become more commonly seen in the media, GPD wants to ensure they close any gaps between the community and law enforcement by hosting events like movie night at the Eden Park Complex. Programs like the Disproportionate Minority Contact Program, created by GPD, make sure all officers and people in the community can communicate and work well together. Officers like Tobias and Officer Lugo say people seem to have a negative perspective on law enforcement because of events that have occurred around the country, and that has influenced how officers in Gainesville are seen as well. Andrea Guerrero, WUFT News.